So it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 45 CFM, you know, uh, that runs 14 minutes on high and 26 minutes on low. So let's give that, let's actually give that a test. All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we are going to unbox and test out this bad boy. Now, I'm going to say this. Obviously, this is a vacuum, but I am not Project Farm. I cannot do the type of test Project Farm does. That's why his subscribers are in the millions, because Project Farm is the man. So I'm going to just do a couple of simple tests just to see what this could do. But the main thing I want to seriously test out is the duration. Milwaukee is having a sale right now. You can get the Milwaukee pack out for $200. You could also get the Milwaukee M12 vacuum, six amp hour battery and a charger for 180, but I did get the version that does not have the battery in it, which this was $130. But yeah, this is a bad mamma jamma. Now, the reason why I got this instead of the Milwaukee Packout vacuum is because of the size. The Milwaukee Packout vacuum is actually pretty big. And so I wanted something a little bit more compact because my use when it comes to a portable uh, vacuum that with a handle, you know, I don't want it to be big. I don't want to be a, have to carry it around, so I got this. Let's take a look at the specs and unbox this and test this out really quick. This is a M12 fuel. So this is 87 decibels. This is 13.7 inches long or 348 millimeters. Suction power of 42. All right, so this does come with a filter, util utility nozzle, flexible hose, uh, wall mount. Ooh, I like that. It has a wall mount and it comes with a uh, crevice tool. So that's this. This thing is seriously awesome. I did want another little shop vac to help clean up stuff uh, in the cars, especially now that I have a Wave Runner. I will, this will be vacuuming inside the Wave Runner when I need to. So let's unbox this. Of course you get instructions and warranty and the warranty for Milwaukee, I believe is like three years. And let's see if it says it on the box. Oh, five-year warranty. And uh, it does say that this does comply with OSHA. So this is OSHA safe. Oh, like I said, instructions and catalog. Look at that. I'm gonna assume that everything is inside. There you go. It comes with two instructions actually and two catalogs. That is an empty box. Alrighty, so here is this. Now, the, that's one thing I'm excited about is that this is a 12-volt tool. And I, you guys know I love 12-volt tools. This channel is a huge fan of 12-volt tools. All right, so like I said, it is a fuel and it is brushless. There are two speed modes. There is speed one and speed two. Let's open up the inside. Filter is there. Did it say that this is a wet and dry? Let's see if it's a wet and dry vac. Yes, it is. It is a wet and it is a wet and dry vac. That wouldn't be there if it wasn't. There's two clips on the side. Let's open up the top. Ooh, is it is it compact like that? Oh, that's awesome. So the hose is actually the hose stays inside. I like that it has it does have a spot for the utility nozzle and where is the crevice nozzle right there everything is compact inside so that's how you actually travel with it that's cool so you have nothing dangling or nothing hanging out i like that i like that i did not know that uh i did not know about that then when you just need to use it just do that then you're good to go Seriously, that, that's cool. That really is cool. Turn this on for a bit. See how this sounds. This is a speed one. Not too shabby, speed two. Wow. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. I like that. Uh, does the wall mount come with screws? I doubt it. It'll just take re regular screws. I like that actually. That, that's nice. There it is. So this is 45 CFM. It's 42 inches. 
Max seal suction in H2O, 42 inches. Run time with a 6 amp hour battery is 20, on high it is 14 minutes and on low it is 26 minutes. So uh, wet capacity is 1.6 gallons, dry capacity is 1.5 gallons. The weight is 9.7 pounds. So it's not too shabby, not too shabby at all. 45 CFM, you know, uh, that runs 14 minutes on high and 26 minutes on low. So let's give that, let's actually give that a test. Sorry, the, the battery is full. So let's actually test this out and see how long this actually lasts. It is 1414 right now. Not sure if you can see that, but it's 1414. Let's see how long this lasts. And it is a blower too. That's a, that's a good blower. Wow. There's the, the ball inside. Not too shabby. It's still blowing pretty good over there. And there it goes. All right, so it is 431 now. And so that lasted beyond what they said on the box. They said 16 minutes on the box, but that act, oh, sorry, sorry, 14 minutes on the box, but actually that actually lasted for 17 minutes. So it lasted three minutes longer than what the box says. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Let's do a quick temperature reading on that battery. 97, 98, yeah, somewhere it says 121 degrees, but most of the battery is up 132. Yeah, the, the battery is getting hot. Battery did get hot from that, of course, but it ran pretty, pretty darn well for when it comes to a 12 volt tool. That's why I love 12 volt tools because a lot of companies are making these very powerful. Remember that was on speed too. That was on speed too. Now we have a battery here that we have a four amp hour. This is not full. Let's see what the battery is at. The battery says full, but I think it's probably at like 90 something percent. All right, so next let's suck up a little bit of water. All right, so I got about two gallons of water right here. This says this, this can do 1.8 gallons, 1.6. All right, so this says it can do 1.6 gallons. So let's see how much is left over. This isn't exactly two gallons. It's uh, probably a little bit less, so it should pretty much suck up all of it. Took the filter out. All right, so ready? Go. And that is what is left over. Like I said, it's uh, 1.6 gallons, so that's almost that's almost empty. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, but as you guys can see, this is actually a nice vacuum. There's no reason to pick up sawdust because or or shrapnel like that because it's a it's a powerful vacuum and it's capable. And so I love on how compact this is and how everything is set inside. And so yeah, so the battery for the four amp hour is full. And everything just goes in like that and there you go so i'm excited about this vacuum i love uh i love how small and compact it is one thing i still got to do is find a place to mount this on the wall 
or I might just have it sit on the pack out stuff along with the Ryobi vacuum. But yeah, but uh, but it's nice. I like it. I like it. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's a vacuum video. I do have updates coming on the Wave Runner. On we're making major progress. So I am filming a long episode, which I have a bunch of content for it. But when the Wave Runner is actually complete, I'm gonna do a beginning to end video. And so yeah, so it's good. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.